G'day ladies and gents and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags and welcome back aboard the USS Grayling, Sturgeon class nuclear submarine. So, we have returned to our next mission, uh, we re well, received our next mission, we were ordered to intercept a bunch of diesel electric submarines, as submerged submarine. attempting to make it past the northern UK gap, uh, that is the Greenland-UK gap, and make their way out into the North Atlantic. Judging from the auto detections that we've just picked up, I would say this is probably not our group. So I am loving the fact that our crew is now experienced enough they're doing some of the work for me and saving me time. We have identified two Victor-1 class nuclear attack subs. Now these are obviously not diesel electrics, so these are not our mission target. But those are still very yummy, so we are definitely going to get rid of those. Tasty Russian subs. We must feed the sturgeon. It's hungry. Okay, so now this is a little bit of an issue though because we are actually running a little short on torpedoes here. We've got three loaded and we've got two spare. We can kill these two and we can do it with one torpedo each if we do this right. We're only going to have three shots left and there's potentially four diesel electrics in the pack according to the mission briefing for the actual submarines we're supposed to be killing. This has me somewhat concerned. And we won't have time to resupply. Alright, so it looks like the Victor 1 is just below the thermal layer. Sierra 4 is just above it. 17.9 kiloyards, and we're only at 77 decibels in the water, so it's surprisingly quiet at the moment. Um, alright, so this could go badly. I am going to shoot away from these guys. They are close. I'm going to wait till the Victor 1. Sierra 4, they're both Victor 1. Sierra 4 is turning towards us. Sierra 1 is turning away from us, but Sierra 1 is closer, so I'm going to wait till it turns a little more, gives me a little more of her ass. And hopefully the shot will go into the baffles and she won't detect and the Victor 1 that is Sierra 4 will be far enough away that she might miss this. Although it is very quiet. 77 decibels is very quiet. I'd rather 90 for a shot at these kind of ranges. And Victor 1 starting to turn back. Launching. Shoot 2 1. Aye, sir. Launching 2. Shoot 2 2. Aye, sir. No counterfire on the transients. All right, torpedoes are free. Torpedoes are free. All right. Now we've just got to get them out of an angle that's going to put the counterfire that we're going to get from being anywhere near us. So this is going to take a little while. Basically, we have to hook these torpedoes around, and we want them coming back from this direction. We want them going this way. It's not a huge shot, but if I go through direct, it's going to be too close. And well, we we did we have the depth to dodge and duck and dive here, but I'd rather not. Remember, if there's any point in a for for cold waters, it may look really easy when you fire and you hook the torpedoes around and you hit the target, and none of the counterfire goes anywhere near you, and they never actually get to engage you. But that is kind of the point. If you're in a submarine and you're in a situation where the enemy torpedoes are tracking you and you've got to go evasive, you fucked up. There is no getting around that. You fucked up. You made a massive mistake. You should not be in that situation. That's not what to well, that's not what you're supposed to be doing. The idea is to kill the enemy without them knowing where you are. It's the world's most expensive game of hide and seek. Con sonar launch transient from Sierra Four. All right, there we go. It's still going to be too close for my liking. Retract the total rate, and we're going to make a turn and a depth change. I hope that this does not break the wire. Come right, right to come one about. nine two helm I. All 
right, so once we've completed this turn, if both wires are still intact, we should be good. We didn't get the torpedoes quite as far around. I, I brought them in a little bit shorter than I should have. But still, we haven't been detected, and our torps are fine. We're running at 30 knots. Time remaining on our torpedoes at 21. Yeah, I'm going to send them active. This will make them accelerate as they each one goes active. What are the depths? Alright, Sierra 4 is cavitating like a bitch. She's still at 100 feet. Sierra 1's diving. She's down to 700. So Torpedo 2 will need a depth change. We're going to drop her down to 700 so she aligns. The Victor is, looks like she's still going deeper, but we will match depth. Right. And we're going to stay exactly where we are, just above the thermal, thermal layer, and we should be good. The duck's only weak. It's risky, right but two, I'm going to keep two, the turn zero, going. Eight. Helm, I. So it's running parallel to the Victors. So our torpedoes are now running faster than the Victors are. But their operational time's down to 10 minutes. So we've only got 10 minutes to pull off this intercept. Or we're going to have to fire more. And if we have to fire even one more torpedo, we have to go back to Holy Lock. Which means we probably fail this mission as diesel electrics are going to get through. Con, sonar, launch transient from Sierra 1. All right. So, Torpedo 2 is almost intercepted Sierra 1. Time remaining on the clock is seven minutes. That looks like the Torpedo Counterfire was actually at Torpedo 1. Uh, depth is... Well, we can dive it a little bit further down just to Gone. line it up. Fire control. There we go. Weapon, acquired. Weapon has acquired. Six minutes and 40 seconds remaining on Torpedo 1. Victor 1 is continuing to run at 32 knots. We are closing in. I'm going to try and straight line Gun the uh, corner there. Maker, bearing one, seven, five. Yeah, we've got a little bit of time before Sierra 1 is intercepted and... Oh, sorry, Sierra 4 is intercepted. And it's still... Keep in mind, it's doing 32 knots. And it's still at about a hundred feet so it's right on the surface and just firewalled like this thing will be leaving a wake on the surface as it's moving or would be con sonar noisemaker bearing one seven five All right, torpedo has fallen to the countermeasure taking control Con sonar, Sierra 1 is cavitating. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Alright, weapon is on, and it's gonna hit right in the aft. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing. Yeah, too close one, now for countermeasures, seven, it's beyond the countermeasures. Tracking through. Con sonar, lost contact. Boom, Sierra Victor 1, one is down. Last bearing 1, 7, 6, contact breaking up. Torpedo 1. Actually got thrown off a little bit there for a second. Not seeing countermeasures. Most likely, if I had to make a guess, Victor 1 is throwing knuckles at us. So reload 2. Oh, and 1 slowed down to 13 knots. What are you doing? Oh, and it's finally diving too. It heard the explosion against the Victor 1. 
No, it's got to be aware of the torpedo, especially now. Con sonar, noise maker, yep, bearing, bearing. One, six, six. Torpedo still tracking. We haven't got a visual on it yet, but it is still tracking. Yeah, it does not seem to have taken the countermeasure in the slightest. Ooh, you're diving hard. About to pass a thousand feet. Con sonar, noise maker, that bearing. time the countermeasure One, took. Six, six. Con, torpedo room, tube two ready. Torpedo has reacquired on its own. Oh, that's Con nice. Sonar lost contact. Boom. Sierra Clean. Four. Last bearing. One, six, seven. Contact breaking up. All right, so after action report, two Victor 1 sunk for 12,170 tons, three Mark 48s remaining, which might actually not be enough to get the job done. It's concerning, but we'd get 48,000 experience for that one. This won't be the mission objective because we're after diesel electrics. Please resume your actual mission objective. Okay, so this was the right area. We're in the right area looking for targets at the moment. This just wasn't it. And is it is as merchant. busy as here at the moment. Haven't even managed to start IDing stuff, and we're already starting to get IDs. Um, now, we have got a submarine contact here. Somewhere. Con sonar, Sierra 3, is classified as submerged submarine. There's one of them. Con sonar, Sierra 5, is classified as merchant. Bet me to it. Okay, so there's only Sierra 4 that's in question at the moment. A lot of trawlers. What is our depth here? Looks like we're about to get Con an auto ID. It's a Sierra merchant. Okay. Is classified as merchant. This is not what we're after. Again, we're in the correct patrol zone. This is a Victor 2. I'm not complaining about this, but this is not our mission objective. And we are just about out of torpedoes. So, Victor 2 seems to be the only target in the area that's unidentified. I am loving this crew at the moment. And somehow, and I don't ask me how, but it didn't manage to detect us, because we entered this at 20 knots, and I had to slam on the brakes as soon as we got in the area. I never saw this guy until the last second. So, range to target. 7.6 kilo yards. We don't have a meaningful bottom, which is fine. Is there actually land masses here? Yeah, there we go. There's, there's, the, there's the northern part of uh, the UK. Or at least, yeah, a small, small percentage of it. We are close, although this is going to be damn near a dead shot into his baffles if we get this right. I'll retract the total ray because I'm going to make a right hand turn which is going to pull the total ray across, across the screw which we do not want there we go total ray retracted uh, I seem to get questions in the comment sections every other video about this as well uh, the total ray in vanilla cold waters does not have a visual effect and it automatically deploys at any time that you're running below below 10 knots I think below 10 knots could be could be at five knots but I'm pretty sure it's below 10 knots um, in dot mod and epic mod it's animated as you see and you deploy it by hitting backspace so you can run with or without the total ray and yes it can be damaged so in vanilla cold waters, at any speed below 10, the the total ray is out, and it doesn't matter what maneuvers you do, it never breaks. 
Um, in this, because it does actually have a physical model, they have set it up so that if it crosses the screw, it will get damaged and the total ray can actually be destroyed. Shoot two one, aye sir. Alright, I'm not going to get a better baffle shot than that. Now it's pinging actively. At this range, it can definitely detect us. But we're behind it. Now, submarines, even modern submarines, um, have a blind spot in their rear. To explain this to everybody, if we look at this Victor here from above, at the end here we have the screw, or the propeller, the, the main drive shaft that actually drives the submarine. This makes a lot of noise, and there's also a lot of noise in here, because there's a nuclear reactor in here, a bunch of steam converters, turbines, and you know, all the bits and pieces that make that spin and make submarine go forward. Con, hell, so behind the sonar, about halfway up the submarine, the sonar bell is up here, but I think the baffles is about here, or just behind, it's somewhere in this section of the sub anyway. Um, they have essentially a soundproof wall that stops all the scent, the primary sensors for active and uh, active sonar from being able to hear the noise that's directly behind it. Otherwise, this would deafen everything that's up this end to be able to see what's going on. So that's the baffles, and that's why if you get in the rear of a submarine, whether it's you or a torpedo, they cannot detect you. Now, there is a way around this, and that's the towed array. The towed array can actually see behind the submarine. The towed array, when it's deployed, and mine, I should actually deploy mine again now, so we'll go back to my sub. So it's a cable that hangs at the back of the submarine. And it has a bunch of microphones that point left and right. So they don't, none of the microphones on this cable aim back towards the main sub. They point to the port and starboard door, the left and right of the submarine, and a few down the end are angled so they point towards the rear. So when the total ray is out, the submarine actually has the ability to hear behind itself by putting the microphone behind the screw and behind all the noise being generated by the uh, the submarine. It also means that the toad arrays, the microphones on it are incredibly sensitive, but they can move them further away from all the racket in here, so the toad array, the microphones on the toad array, can hear better than the microphones and sensors, the passive sensors that are actually built into the submarine's pressure hull. So this allows a submarine to hear behind it, this also allows the submarine to hear better around it. That's what the tow array is for. The thing is, Victor 2 does not have a tow array. Victor 3 does. Victor 3 has a massive bell that sits up here. That's the tow array. The tow array is spooled inside of it and it deploys straight out of the top. But 1 and 2 do not have tow arrays. She can't see behind herself. She's a dangerous submarine, she's relatively modern overall, especially if she's a late refit, but she doesn't have a tow array. That's what defines, it's actually the primary defining difference between a Victor 2 and a Victor 3. A Victor 3 has a tow array, and as a result, it can hear better in the water. Con, sonar, launch transient from Sierra 3. Eh, apparently the uh, torpedo's out Con, of the battles and she finally launch heard transient it. From Sierra 3. Con, sonar, launch transient Ooh, from she's Sierra pissed. 3. Uh, change depth. Let's go to. Make depth one. Let's go to 50 zero, feet. Zero feet die by. Let's go to 50 feet and be very, very, very quiet. Yeah, she, she, she's heard this. She knows what's coming now. So yeah, the baffles isn't everything 90 degrees or oh, 180 degrees behind the submarine either. It is actually a thin cone. She can see back on certain angles. It's just directly behind her. There's a a thin little cone that she's blind in, and apparently the torpedo was outside of that. She heard it. She's she's not happy. She I, I believe Victor's got six torpedo tubes, and she just ripple fired three of them. And uh, yeah, she's at 29 knots at the moment and accelerating, so she just firewalled it as well. The good thing is that because she's firewalled it, she can't hear anything at the moment. So uh, while she is pinging actively, she cannot hear shit. So I don't actually have to worry. Let's retract the toad array again. Um, I don't actually have to worry about uh, her directly hearing me. 
this point. She only heard the torpedo. But this doesn't change things. This means I'm only going to have two torpedoes left over, and my wolf pack target is potentially... Well, if it's only two submarines, I can still do it. But it could be three. And if it's three, I can't hit all three targets. I don't have anything else. If it was surface ships we're after, we're fine. I've got four missiles, so we, we could work with that. But following submarines, I'm nearly out. We have sunk a lot of subs this patrol. Which is not good. I'm still going to hang out here and see whether or not we can complete the mission objective. I'm just hoping that it is only two and not three or four. Alright, so these two torpedoes, not too concerned. Come right this two, one's a problem. One, seven, eight, helm, I. Um, I'm actually, yeah, we're at 50 feet. I can't get much higher. I'm going to have to hope that that torpedo is at about... 700 to 800 feet and that the weak layer and the duct and the distance between us is enough that that torpedo goes underneath us otherwise that is absolutely going to detect us we have moss loaded so we're good I'm going to have to do a count on how many victors we've actually sunk at this point, because by God, we've got to be running the Soviets low. I was actually thinking in the last mission with the Victor 1s, that might be part of the reason why we're starting to see Victor 1s. We've been seeing later models previously. Uh, dive at five, zero feet, dive by. Cool, thank you very much. Although 50 feet is pretty shallow with the troll, trollers and merchants heading towards us. The surface in this end of the world is Con getting awfully Elm, crowded. Any course. And this is shallow enough. The, uh, the, the the fishy boy here, if he changes directions, could actually hit our conning tower. The uh, the merchant definitely could. He's got enough draft to hit us at 50 feet. Like, yeah, where we're there's there's not a lot of gap there. Our oh, torpedo's close enough. Con fire control weapon acquired. Weapon is acquired. Con sonar, Sierra 3 is cavitating. Yeah, I am not surprised. It looks like we've got torpedoes starting to go active. Yeah, this is heading directly towards us. These two I think we're fine on. Um, we get total ray in or out at the moment. No, no, retract it. We don't need to go to flank and start Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing. One, four, two. Just for the moment, need to concentrate on getting this Victor 2 dead. And hope we don't get detected. In fact, I'm going to go even riskier here. Make turns for five knots. Man Dead Make in the water. Turns for full zero stop. Knots. Maneuvering eye. Yeah, full stop. Con dead in the sonar, water. Noisemaker bearing one, four, four. Make depth Go to 45 four, feet. Eight, 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 Dive at four, five, eight, dive by. Alright, that looks like a kill shot. No need to manually command it. Yeah, that looks good. That's looking good. Oh, no, he got underneath it. Tricky, tricky. Manual control Flash there at the end, one, but four, got three, her on the rise. Alright, so Victor 3 is sunk. Now the question is, do we get sunk? So far, so good. I'll stop dead silent, and if I'm any closer to the surface, we'll be uh, sticking the... Uh... God, that's almost tempting. It's almost tempting to surface the boat here. Because these will be set to track submerged targets, not surface targets. But I'm not sure if the code allows for that. So we should see our shadow pop up over here somewhere.
torpedo has not turned onto us. I can't see our shadow. But it looks like we are good. Ha! Huh. And the surface ships here should be fairly okay because, uh, yeah, the torpedoes will be set to track submerged targets, not surface targets, so they'll go straight underneath them. That's the merchant, and the trawler should be... I'm not sure. No, no, they're there. Fisherman's just there. Merchant's just there. Yeah, this, this section of the world got a little crowded then. Alright, so, after action report, Victor 2 sunk, another 7,190 tons. We have two Mark 48s remaining. So again, a good kill, I'm not complaining about the kill, but we're running into issues right now. These ships need to be sunk, these submarines need to be taken out, but we still haven't run into the mission objective. I'm actually starting to wonder whether or not it managed to slip past me, because the space we've got to cover is a little wide. That was not the target of mission orders, yep, I'm aware. Anyways, ladies and gents, I think I'll probably bring this one to a close here. We'll have to wait till the next one to see whether or not we can actually find our target or whether or not we have to abort off to Holy Lock. I am going to give it one more crack, but if we miss the target again and we get a different one than expected again, that's it. We'll have to return back to Holy Lock and we're going to fail this mission. Anyways, guys, until next time, take care.